As always, I always Another forget Another audio this visualization this video. This so in the previous one, we left off with this weird like shaking crazy graphing the volume of a sound file. And what I want to do now, and it was a great suggestion from Oliver in the chat, is instead of graphing as a graph along, say, an x-axis, what if I took this graph and wrapped it around a circle? And the way to do that is to think about a circle as a bunch of uh, points that are based on an angle and a radius. So if that angle iterates all around the circle, but the radius changes according to the volume, then maybe we've got something. So let's see uh, if we can implement that. So I need to, I'm gonna just kind of like simplify the code for a second. So I'm gonna pull this out. Uh, I'm gonna pull out the push. Oh, oh, uh, mm, um, that's fine. I'll, re I'll reverse engineer all this code later. I'm not, I should have made a new version, but that's fine. Um, I'm going to uh, take out this line uh, and then uh, run it again. As always, okay. I always forget so that this so Now stop, we're back just stop, to the plain stop, old graph. I'm going to do this. So what I want to do now instead is say, okay, what if I, I'm going to do a begin shape, end shape, and I'm going to say i is less than 360. And I, now I need to have i is the angle, right? So first of all, I want to um, have the sketch uh, in, uh, think in terms of degrees. I can, by default, P5 will think in with, of angles in a unit of measurement called radians. But I want to think in terms of degrees here. Um, and I can say var x equals, and this is a math formula that converts from an angle and a radius to an x and y position, which is r times cosine of that angle. That's x and var y equals r times sine of that angle. And I can now have a vertex at x comma y, and I can say r equals just 100. Let me run this. As see, always, there's I that circle, that it's, all, it's a round stop, zero, zero. So what I want to do now is right before here, say translate width divided by two. Let's, let's have the center be in the center and put a semicolon here and here we go as always now i've got always that circle this stop, there this it stop, is it's not i'm not using a lip this stop this stop this stop no i'm not this stop, using this stop, this stop, using polar this stop. the cartesian coordinate systems and now what i'm going to do is r can be based on the volume so it can be let's just say it's between 10 and 100 based on what the volume is and I can get this out of here. Oops, that pop is unnecessary. Um, and I want to only ever have 360 uh, elements in the array. And now I can do this. As always, I always forget that this dot, this dot, this dot, this dot. I'm gonna do this dot, this dot. I'm gonna do this, this dot, this dot, this dot. I'm gonna do this dot, this dot. I'm gonna do dot. It's kind of a nice effect, right? This dot. This dot song. This All right, so there's plenty more. I could, I could keep going this with this. You can make it rainbow this colored. This I could dot. fill it in this dot. with rainbow colors. This um, dot song. I could have this the colors dot. respond to something this else. Dot. I encourage this you to take this code this and dot. make your this own dot. version this of it. And perhaps in the next dot. video, I'm going to show you how to do this frequency dot. analysis. This dot. You can add that to it as well. Thanks for watching another video where I'm doing something with sound.